Depends on how we feel. <laughs> damn it, why is he talking like that? God damn it. Hey internet, it's Jessica, and welcome to Seduce Me, the episodes. And today we're going to be looking at James's episode, A Lesson in Romance. I'm I'm kind of wondering if that rumor that I heard about James is it going to be talked about in this episode. I'm kind of curious. But anyway, before we get started, if you guys would like to download the game yourself, there's a link in the description. The episodes are free to play, and I highly recommend that you check out the creator of this game, Michaela Laws. I'll put all her links in the description if you would like to support her on Patreon so she can make more games like this. And I'll put the links to Bradley Gareth, who is the voice actor for James, if you want to check out his stuff too. Also, if you would like to see the whole Let's Play of Seduce Me 1 and 2 and all that good jazz, I have links in the description to the playlist so you can watch it. Imagine, if you will, you live in a gorgeous mansion with the man of your dreams. You can do anything you have ever wanted and there's nothing in the world that could hold you back. So not the dream. <laughs> well, that was my life. I was the granddaughter of a CEO and had somehow earned his estate upon his death. The man of my dreams just happened to be waiting for me in the lobby of the mansion as I moved in. Mind you, he was mortally wounded, and he had turned out to be a demon, but that was besides the point. So I'm assuming this episode takes place before Seduce Me 2, right? I hope so, because I haven't played it yet. <laughs> the man of my dreams, James, was smart, kind, caring, and very capable of taking care of not only me, but his four younger brothers. The five of them lived with me for a short while, making the house as lively as ever. However, I only needed James by my side. Soon enough, the younger four brothers left us on their own devices, wanting to start their own lives. Living with James was like a dream come true. He always cooked breakfast and helped me keep the house clean, and during his free time, he tended to the garden. How sweet, he's still, he's still a flower man with the watering cans. <laughs> there were often times where he and I would eat in the gazebo outside, enjoying the sun and fresh air. Work-wise, James had taken the position of the CEO at my grandfather's toy company and helped to expand its new heights. He did his very best to make it the best company it could ever be, and wound up raising more money for charity than any other company on the planet. Dang, he's good. Well, I mean, he's a demon, so I mean, I don't think James would use his persuasive uh, powers just to make for charity, but I'm sh I'm assuming he knows how to market better than humans, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Needless to say, I was very proud of him, and he was very happy to know that my grandfather's company was in good hands. I was even more happy to call him mine. James and I lived in a dream romance for a year and a half. The thought of marriage crossed my crossed my mind often, but I left it in the hands of fate. If James was going to propose to me, then he would do it when he was ready. So this is before the ending of Seduce Me 1. Okay. Nevertheless, the conversations we would have were interesting to say the least. What the hell does that mean? One day I found him lounging in the library, lost in the familiar- Wait, is this the, the smutty book he was reading in the first one? Oh god. With a, with a smirk, I crept, I crept inside and peered over his shoulder at the chapter he was reading. You really like that book, don't you, James? James jumped in his seat, snapped it out of his train of thought, and stared up at me in surprise, making me laugh and grip the chair, and grip the chair from falling over on my knees from the hilarity. L love, I, I, uh. Oh come on, he's he's fucking sexy, dude. Why does he have to be embarrassed about this? <laughs> Good afternoon to you too, James. Enjoying that story? I smiled playfully at James before, taking the book out of his hands and looking over the cover. I was right. Love and romance. A study of intimacy. Oh my god! <laughs> <clears throat> James cleared his throat as he shook his head and relaxed in his chair, trying to be- trying to calm down from his sudden surprise outburst. You keep coming back to this book no matter how many others you read. Why? It's an interesting commentary on romance. A writer falling in love with her manager and dealing with her own internal feelings is an interesting topic to read about. Okay. But why? Truly? I handed the book back to James before walking around and sitting on the empty seat across from his. James nodded and placed the book down on between, down on the table between us while he crossed his legs. Remember, demons don't fully understand love. We may experience uh, okay, okay. it, but we don't know it well enough to label it as such. So he's more curious about the loving part, okay, than the smutty part. Because I'm just like, you're a you're sex demon. You should know the smutty part already. <laughs> but you understand it, right? Of course. But that doesn't mean that I shouldn't continue to read about it. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess you're right. But what does reading that book over and over do for your research on it? James chuckled and leaned back in his chair. That book in particular shows the balance between love and lust. Which, mm -hmm. by contrast, is an emotion demons understand completely. 
I was reading the comments on the last video of Seduce Me for James. Someone someone wrote, take a shot every time James is sexual. <laughs> and I made me laugh. I wonder how many times he's going to say it here. Completely. I'm sure there are th some things even you don't understand if demons don't understand love. Provoked by my statement, James raised his eyebrow with an almost amused grin. Is that a challenge? Yes. For a moment, I remember James's powerful personality. This was a challenge of his intelligence, and such dare would not remain un undominated for long under his keen eye. As I mulled over the idea in the following second of silence, I could only find myself entertained by the idea of him trying to prove himself to me. To that, I smirked and lifted my chin a bit and smiled in a small, taunting display. And if it was... The, oh god, the moment she smirked at me and licked his lips ever so slightly made me question everything in, in the form of loud screaming in my head. What did I throw myself into? I'm, I'm scared, what is he gonna do? <laughs> Still, my face remained unfazed and I continued to stand my ground as James replied. And tell me, what could I possibly not know? I stared at James for the longest time before setting, settling into my seat, crossing my legs. If this was going to be a lesson in romance, then this was going to be one where I was the teacher. All right, then. Do you know what's the sexiest thing a person can do for another? That's a bit specific. I promise. There's only one answer. That was a lie. There's obviously more than one answer, but I hoped that he would draw the answer from our relationship rather than the form of the generic answer. Either way, I would get him. James sat back and closed his eyes, thinking to himself and assembling his answer. As he opened his eyes, he smiled. Make them feel cared for and cherished beyond anything else in the world. Ah. His answer surprised me. I imagined him trying to weasel out an answer with a gesture or a sp specific action. As his words hit me, my cheeks burned a soft pink in agreement. It was rather sexy to think about that. The feeling of his hands along my body would make me feel like a goddess, worthy enough to be ravished. The kisses on my skin would paint me in a glow and in a glow of love and compassion. The way he held me always sent me to cloud nine. He had won this round. I nodded, pursing my lips as the smirk grew a bit. He interlaced his fingers and placed them on my on his knee, awaiting my next question. This had to become a game of trivia, almost. Would he know all his answers? I pushed forward, now determined to prove that I was right. Okay, but what about sexy clothes? What about them? <laughs> oh my god, what are we talking about right now? <laughs> what color clothes should a person wear to attract someone? Another trick question. This is all of a matter of opinion. It didn't take long for James to reply. The most, like, I heard that the most, because it is true, if, you, if you've if you done color theory like I have in art school, so prestigious. Anyway, the, one of the most, like, attractive colors ever is red because it's bright. It's a warm color. So any, like, warm color attracts people and red is, like, pretty up there. And I'm assuming he's gonna say red. I think so. It depends on the person they wish to attract. Oh shit! He just- Okay, James, I see what you're doing there. As James' eyes traveled up and down my form, I suddenly felt naked. I personally would love to see you in black. Perhaps gold or red. <laughs> Are you picturing me naked right now? <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, see you red, I told you. Damn it, he won again. But at least I knew what to wear if I ever wanted to seduce him in bed. I shook my thoughts out and knuckled down on my determination. I would not be beaten. I uncrossed my legs and leaned over on my knees, face as stone cold as a statue. James raised an amused eyebrow once again as I threw the volley of questions at him, hoping to throw him off. Giving or receiving? Giving. <laughs> oh god, the rumor I heard about is true, isn't it? Oh god, okay, I'm trying not to freak out. <laughs> Nightgowns or teddies? Nothing at all. Whoa! <laughs> Kitchen or shower? Both. Oh my god, I'm dying. I was going crazy at the idea forming in my head. This game of questions and answers became one that heightened my libido in the most in the most shameless of ways. Still, I would not give in. The question became about our romance more than just general romance and lust. The more he answered, the more I learned about him. I would use the, his response to my advantage later, but for now, the harvest for answers the harvest for answers continued. S sensual or rough? Depends on how we feel. Damn it, why is he talking like that? God damn it. <laughs> fast or slow? Start slow, then get faster. <laughs> the rumor's true! Why? <laughs> Handcuffs or blindfold? Both. <laughs> <gasps> Alright, I'm okay. James instantly covered his mouth with his hand. The sip. The slip escaping his lips and making his true feelings known alongside the embarrassment blush across his cheeks. 
As his answer rung in my ears, my entire face became beet red. What? James was in. <laughs> James was into both handcuffs and blindfolds. What about the other kinky things? <laughs> I knew it! Oh my god! Okay, this is. This kind of makes me happy. Oh my god, the rumors are true, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're too young. <laughs> Whips, rods? James shook his head, so he wasn't into any sort of violent play. Being called master? <laughs> oh my god! Silence! It made sense. Him liking to play on his dominance. BDSM? James closed his eyes and sighed into his palm before it fell on his lap and he lowered his head. As he, as he spoke, I could tell that he was being frank with me, dissolving his shame as he was speaking to the one he loved. It's not something demons do, but I enjoy learning about it and imagining it. Ah, James is into BDSM! <laughs> I'm gonna die! Oh my god, okay. By the way, you don't need to be shamed, ashamed of your, your kink. I'm not kink shaming anybody, especially you, James. Oh my god. Alright, I'm alright. <laughs> Where did you learn about it? <laughs> James chuckled softly, shaking his head. A novel I read a long time ago. It was a study on fictional romance and the publishing of erotica in the last ten years. It wound up in the piles of books I read when we first came to the human world. So the first book of the human world he learned was BDSM. <laughs> oh my god. That explained it. However, I almost didn't expect it from James. Eric maybe, but not James. No, no, no. I don't think, in, in my personal opinion, out of all the boys, I, I expected it to be James because he's the eldest one and he's very... How do I explain this? He has the... He has the daddy vibes. I know, I, I say, I usually, I use the term daddy as a joke, but it's true though. James has like the daddy vibes out of all the brothers. Eric, Eric doesn't seem to be like the type of person to be into BDSM, honestly. Maybe Sam, but like, I, I, I was, I was always like, suspecting James was. <laughs> oh my god. Looking at him, I could tell James was trying to come up with, come to terms with releasing this information to me. While he was talking to the one he loved, he knew that topic was pretty big one to drop into the game we were previously playing. I didn't want to make him feel uncomfortable about it, so I spoke again. Are you interested in trying it? Okay, I'm very happy that the our character, Mika, is very accepting of James's kink. No kink shaming. This is very good in your relationship. But that doesn't mean you, you're supposed to like do whatever your partner says, you know what I mean? Only if you're comfortable with it. And that's what I like that Michaela is writing that into the story, so... It's good. For a moment, James didn't answer. When did he? When he did, I could tell that he was being open about it. Now that I knew that, now that I knew of his true feelings for it, I would be lying if I said no. James looked back at me, his expression neutral in an attempt to remain calm. I leaned back in my seat and closed my eyes. This game definitely taught me a lot, a lot of new things about James. Would I pursue this new information and try it with him? That was up to me to decide later on. Um, I think we should do it. <laughs> For now, though, our game had ended and it was unclear who had won between us. I had gotten my answer, but the last question threw both of us off. How would we determine the winner? I finally decided to stand up and walk over to James, letting him, letting him watch me as I sat on his lap, wrapping my arms around his neck and leaning my forward against his. Mm, maybe you do know everything. James finally relaxed and nuzzled my nose with his before kissing me softly. Well, not ever. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> the way he's saying it, and then just the music comes on. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? I still have a lot to learn about you. Me? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. Okay, I'm alright. <clears throat> James stared deep into my eyes, leaning back and removing his glasses. As his whiskey eyes began to glow soft golden color, I gasped as he smiled playfully at me. It's only fair that I ask you the same questions that you asked me. Don't you think? I'm gonna die, honestly. This episode is gonna kill me. This is way worse. Way worse than freaking Sam and Seduce Me Too. I think it is. <laughs> I stared wide at, at James when he seriously... Was he seriously gonna ask me the same questions I asked him? James chuckled slowly. What? Are you afraid now? <laughs> Alright, no, I'm not. This is just, oh my god. No? <laughs> Good. Because I don't intend to be gentle. <laughs> alright, I'm alright. <laughs> F 
fuck. <laughs> That's exactly what. Wait, it just ended there. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. I thought they were actually gonna show smut in this episode. But I guess not. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. I can't control myself. <laughs> Wow, this is a good episode. Good, good A plus episode. All right, so the rumors are true. James is into BDSM, and that's what I was suspecting um, when I first got this game, just because I got the vibe that he was. Um, but um, that's that's good. That is good for him now. <laughs> All right, I'm fine. I hope you guys are too. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And if you guys want to grab uh, the this episode or any of the other games first introduced me, I'll have a link in the description where you can download it. And make sure you check out Michaela Loss, who's the creator of Seduce Me, and check out Bradley Gareth, who's the voice of James. And um, yeah, when I come back to Seduce Me, we're going to start Seduce Me 2 for James' route, and I'm very excited, and I hope I don't get a bad ending. But damn, Bastro. <laughs> Oh god, alright, I think I'm okay now. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Whee! Oh, Clem! Clem, get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay, go! Oh, I forgot about this, no!